Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about the mechanism of the hydrolysis of acetals. So if acetals are dissolved in water in the presence of acid, they will hydrolyze back through the hemiacetal to the aldehyde or ketone. Uh, I'm using uh, acetone as a generic uh, ketone. This works with aldehydes as well. Uh, and in the previous video, I shared the mechanism for the formation of acetals. And it's worth noting that the hydrolysis of acetals occurs by a mechanism that is perfectly reverse of the formation of acetals. So the first, the, the second part of the mechanism of the formation of acetals is an SN1 mechanism. Working in reverse, the opposite of a substitution is a substitution. And, and so uh, the opposite of the SN1 mechanism is the SN1 mechanism, except now instead of having an alcohol with a hemiacetal, we're going to have uh, an acetal uh, be attacked by water as a nucleophile. And just like in every other, just like in the formation of the acetal, every one of these mechanism steps is an equilibrium. So we start off by Protonating our uh, one of our acetal oxygens. This makes it a better leaving group. Then, because this is an SN1 reaction, that leaving group can leave. We form a resonance stabilized carbocation intermediate. Uh, so this carbocation intermediate also has a resonance structure where there's a carbon oxygen double bond and a carbon and the positive charge is on the oxygen. Come on, there we go. Oh. Water can, can now attack this as a nucleophile. And then we generate, now we, ah, I'm having trouble and I apologize, here we go. And we now have a protonated hemiacetal, and something needs to come along and take that extra proton. And we have lots of water present because water is, is our nucleophile and our solvent in this reaction. And ooh, now, hooray, we have hemiacetal. Next, just extra hemiacetal dropped over here. Apologize. Right. Now, the first, now we go, we reverse the first part of the uh, formation of the acetal. When you form the hemiacetal from the ketone or aldehyde, that's a nucleophilic addition reaction. Well, the reverse of an addition reaction is an elimination reaction. And because we don't have a strong base, we're in acid, then. Uh, what we have is an E1 elimination reaction. And this is going to be a familiar mechanism. It's just, it, we protonate hemiacetal, and uh, you know, you're going to recognize that actually I've um, I say we're going to protonate the hemiacetal, but we're not protonating. We are protonating the hemiacetal, but we are protonating the other alkoxy carbon now. And we're getting our protonated intermediate. And I only have like part of my equilibrium arrow. Here's more better equilibrium arrow. This is an E1 elimination, so now we get loss of leaving group. Leaving group is leaving. This generates another carbocation. And with E1, the second part of, of the E1 is a proton transfer, and we're going to use water 
as our base because again there's lots of it and we get proton transfer and formation of the carbon oxygen pi bond and there is our ketone right. now as I mentioned at the end of the formation video uh, the, the ketone or aldehyde form tends to predominate at equilibrium. So that's good for the hydrolysis. Um, we generally need to remove the water as it forms in order to facilitate the uh, formation of the acetal. In order to, to facilitate rapid reversion to the ketone or aldehyde, uh, we will add excess water and that causes the equilibrium situation to flip. Now we, it, you know, adding excess product shifts the equilibrium back towards the reactants. So almost all of the chemistry of acetals has to do with uh, controlling Le Chatelier's principle. In the next video, we'll talk about some applications of acetals um, and we will uh, then move on to uh, cyclic acetals and hemiacetals, and then finally uh, thioacetals. Thanks for watching.